how much I record a day. Okay, so because um Gutch requested me to do this video, aka she technically just asked me. But technically, what we're going to be doing is um I'm I'm specifically going to use Wildcraft because why not? And so we're going to just log into Wildcraft right here, and then yeah, um. Yeah. Okay, so this is us. This is our glorious us. So you could either either want to like take like like actually like go like daredevil like and go like so you wanna go into single player. Technically this part is just how to grip green screen on on to making your intro. So you wanna do that and then make sure your pet is unselected now you want to go to a spot with no flowers or trees okay somewhere that small such as the place i'm going right now this is just going to be a green screen by the way guys so now you want to do your if you already posted a video and you want to thing for you you can just like either take a screenshot from it and just remove the whole background or you can go like me now just take a simple screenshot. Okay, there we go. Now what you when do you done, done that, you want to go onto Ibis Paint. This is a particular drawing app. You can like edit with it and import picture. So we're just gonna press import picture. So we're gonna press our file we just did. Now you wanna zoom. Oh my god, we're not on zoom. Now you want to just press the button I just pressed, and then zoom in as much as you can, not covering any of the body parts. Now you want to select all the green. By the way, you might have to, um, so if I'm, I'm making these steps hard, I really don't want this video to be, um, like 30 minutes long, just to show you an intro, or how to make a thumbnail, because no one's going to want to watch it. If, it takes like 30 minutes and you just want to make a simple intro. So make sure everything is completely gone other than your fox. It's okay if you have some green. You aren't going to get every single spot. If you don't want to go through this progress, you can simply just do it on an erasing app where you can erase backgrounds. So now I have just done my background so now we want to go back onto layers aka this button that i just circled in red so now that we have these black lines as you can see there is black and white lines so now you want to go into this area so once you've pressed that you want to press cut now your background should have turned white now you want to go back onto your layers and you want to press the one of these buttons. Now you have uh, now you have a transparent background. But one of the things I'm about to show you is something that is optional because I like doing this. So technically, you're just going to take any color of your choice and go like this. Yes, it can overlap like this. We're just going to be it you just want to overline it like this doesn't have to be thick doesn't have to be thin uh, no don't do it thin because we want to be able to see our line so once you've completely circled like this you're going to go into layers and you want to press this button and then drag it underneath this layer now your thing should be like this Hopefully, none of the uh, white should be overlapping the orange or your fox, okay? You can either go into that layer, aka proof it is that the layer thing turns for white. So, either you can ma put that layer into the mash layer, like that, and then create one layer, or you could just keep it like this. Now what you want to do is probably mash it. We're gonna mash. We're gonna mash it. So now we can just press. 
this button set. And then save layer as transparent thing. Once you've done that, this is where the interesting So now when you want to just, oh no, that's the wrong, that's the wrong thing. So now you want to choose this, like this. So now you want to just color in whatever color you want. I'm just going to use this because it's my main color. It's one of my favorite colors too. So once you've colored in like that, now you want to go into the layers, aka right here once again, and you want to press the camera button. It will bring you to the your files, and there's your fox. And he will have hopefully have a transparent ping if you have, or a transparent background as what you probably should have. Now you want to just put your text of what your video is, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. Okay. So, what you want to do now is either you can change your your uh, character's um, appearance, like its eyes, like so, but if you really don't want to do that, and you want to just a simple intro or thumbnail, then once you've done that, you want to go aka the arrow and then save as ping. Okay, sorry if I am being confusing at all. This video is already six minutes long, but to be honest, it really only depends on your art style or however you want to make your intro. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, so technically, um, most of this video was just technically how to draw the intro, but this is actually how to put the ink thumbnail on the video. So now you must, you must have YouTube Studio. You have to have it to do this. So now we're going to just take a random video. Just a random one like this one. And we're going to press this plus or this pencil and then one up should be appear right here. When you press that, you want to press the pencil again. And then you can press custom thumbnail. And then this one should come up. And then you press select. And then save. And there we go. There you have your thumbnail. If you really don't believe me, well, I don't know what to say. Because I know this works. Because, um, I know this works. Because... YouTube Studio is a real thing. If you download something called Thumbnail Maker, it's just going to be showing you how to decorate a thumbnail, not how to make one, not how to set it up. So I hope you this video helped, and bye!